Four ways to use multiple monitors in DaVinci Resolve plus four extra bonus tips. Let's start with a two monitor setup. I'll get to a three monitor setup later in the video. So this bottom screen is set up as my primary display and that's what DaVinci Resolve will open on by default. This top monitor is just set as a secondary display. So if you just wanna change which monitor DaVinci Resolve runs on, come up to the workspace menu, come down to the primary display option and just select a different monitor. If I change this to monitor two, you can see now up there DaVinci Resolve is just running on that one monitor instead. And to change it back, we'll switch primary display back to monitor one. And now we're back on this bottom monitor. By the way, if you wanna make a little bit of extra space on the screen, you can get rid of this top bar. To do that, come to the workspace menu and just tick full screen window. That just gives you a tiny bit of extra space to work with. You can use method two to display a full screen preview of what you're editing on another monitor. To do that, come up to the workspace menu, come down to video clean feed and choose one of these monitors. If it's grayed out, that means you can't select it because DaVinci Resolve is already running on it. Let's select monitor two. And you can see now on that top monitor, we've got a duplicated image of what's in the display on the main screen. And if we play this back, both screens are showing the same thing. And if you open up a clip from the media pool and scrub through it, it will instead display that image. One benefit of doing this is that you can expand up the timeline just to make more space to work with edits in the timeline here. This second monitor at the top here is a color calibrated, color accurate monitor. So one other use for this technique is to just compare what's being displayed on one monitor against another monitor. And to turn this off, come back to the workspace monitor, come down to video clean feed and select none. Method three is more of a traditional dual screen setup where you've got the user interface split over two screens. This just gives you more space for all of the different things in Resolve. To do that, come to the workspace menu, come down to dual screen and just turn it on. Now you can see the user interface has been split over these two screens. At the bottom, we've got the timeline and the viewers. And at the top, we've got the mixer, metadata, and the media pool. If you want these the other way around, come up to the workspace menu, come down to primary display and change this to monitor two. And that's basically just gonna switch those two things around. And to change it back, just change the primary display again. If you've got dual screen mode on, there's another cool option that you can enable. Come up to the workspace menu, come down to dual screen, and then turn on full screen timeline. You can see now the timeline is taking up all of that bottom space to give us loads of space to work with our edits, especially on a widescreen monitor like this. And of course you can turn off the inspectors and the meters to get even more space. This is even more useful when I show you the three screen setup. Just gonna turn that off for the moment. This dual screen mode is also workspace or page aware. For example, if I change over to the color page here, now I can see all of my scopes at the bottom there really easily. The problem in this particular setup is it's this top monitor that's color accurate and color calibrated, but what I can do is come back to workspace and switch the primary display. Now I've got all of the scopes on the bottom screen there, and this color accurate display is displaying the actual image that I'm color grading. And I can turn off the nodes to make more space here. I can turn off the timeline to make even more space. And if I want to see the image full screen on that color accurate monitor, I can use something like Control F to go full screen and Control F to get back to the user interface. Just gonna switch the primary display back and I'm gonna turn off dual screen mode. Coming up, I've got four quick bonus tips for you. So make sure you watch the video to the end. Let's get on to method four, and that's to use three screens. So what I've done is I've turned on this third monitor. So what we can do here is combine all of the things we've just used. We can first turn on dual screen mode. And remember this top screen is color accurate. So I don't actually want that for the user interface. So what I can do, choose secondary display and then choose this monitor instead. Now we've got the timeline there and all of the extra user interface elements there. I can then come back to the workspace menu and turn on video clean feed to this monitor up here. And if I want to use the other tip to also turn on full screen timeline. And now we've got the ultimate DaVinci Resolve monitor setup. The first bonus tip I've got to show you is if you come up to the workspace menu, come down here to layout presets, and then choose save layout as a preset. Give it the preset a name and click OK. And now whenever you wanna change layouts, you can change to these different presets. You can even export the preset if you want to reinstall DaVinci Resolve. Bonus tip two is whenever you're adding or removing screens, make sure you close DaVinci Resolve, add the screens and then reopen DaVinci Resolve. Otherwise it can get a bit confused. Tip three is if you wanna make even more space, come up to the workspace menu, come down here and turn off show page navigation. That just gets rid of those page navigation icons at the bottom to give you a little bit of extra vertical room. And to switch between the pages, you can just use 
use the switch to page menu or use shift to to shift eight. Bonus tip four is that you can even use your iPhone as an extra monitor, for example, to play back things on your timeline or even to help you with color grading, especially if we haven't got a color grading monitor, you can use the iPhone just to get a gauge of what it's gonna look like on a phone. You can watch this video next to find out more about that. Just remember that not all features are available in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. I'm Jason Roberts and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.